there. It's um, Passover, and I just want to wish everyone a happy Passover. I was so busy cleaning and getting everything ready for Passover, I didn't have time to do a video before Passover to wish everyone a happy Passover. I did do a blog about the meaning of Passover, and there'll be a link to that in the blog below. And now I just want to wish you a happy Passover. It's the middle days of Passover now. Today is uh, Arab Shabbat, tonight is Shabbat. Then we have Sunday is the eve of the last day of Passover, the seventh day. And one, then Monday night it ends. It's, um, but it's been a nice week. I took a day off, a few days off. I went and saw some friends. We went to the, to the port in Tel Aviv, which was very nice. Last night I went for a walk, and I've just taken it easy and spending time with people I love, which is what you're supposed to do on the middle days of Passover. The middle days of Passover are a semi-vacation. Children are out of school. Most businesses are either closed or open half day. So lots of people are out in parks and every place. When we went to the port, it, was, it took us a long time to find parking. We just had to wait till someone came out because it was so busy and the streets are full. But it's nice. It's a nice atmosphere. Something you don't have outside of Israel. Well, for the whole week, uh, even restaurants who are not kosher will have signs that says they have kosher for Passover bread. Bread made out of either matzo meal or corn flour or potato flour or something, so it's not bread. And you hardly see, I mean, if you go to Yafo or other places, you will see bread, but not most places. In the grocery stores, half the shelves are covered with plastic where things that are not kosher for Passover are because they're not allowed to sell it. And it's a unique experience. Anyone who has never been here for Passover, I recommend it. It's, it's different. It's nice. And so now I've got to start getting ready for Shabbat. So I wish you a happy rest of your Passover and a good day.